歡迎大家出席今日嘅簡報會。台上面兩位醫生分別係衞生防護中心傳染病處主任張竹君醫生同埋醫院管理局總行政經理關惠文醫生。咁兩位醫生咧會分別彙報陽性個案最新嘅情況啦，同埋醫管局方面嘅資料嘅。咁先請張醫生。係，大家好。我哋琴晚經誒、呃、本地誒、呃、總共嘅陽性個案總數咧係二千六百七十二宗，咁包括係一千零二十一宗係誒、呃、直接由呢個核酸檢測陽性嘅個案啦。另外係核實咗嘅快速檢測陽性個案咧，就係一千六百五十一宗。咁另外我哋仲有一百四十三宗輸入性個案啦。咁其中有一百一十八宗係誒直接嘅核酸檢測陽性啦。咁另外有廿五宗咧，係、呃、快速檢測陽性經核實嘅個案啦。咁誒而家累積嘅個案咧，係第五波嘅陽性個案有一百二十四萬六千四百六十三宗。咁啊，醫管局今日就呈報多一宗死亡個案啦。咁總數醫管局呈報個案係九千一百一十五宗啦。第五波總數係九千一百九十三宗。咁呢度就包括咗三千七百九十八宗。女性啦，同埋五千三百九十五宗男性嘅，或者我請醫管局嘅同事誒、呃、講下呢個入院嘅數字嘅情況。好，大家好。現時咧係有八百三十名嘅確診病人正在留醫嘅，當中咧有一百一十三名嘅病人咧係新增嘅確診病人，需要入住隔離設施嘅病人當中咧有三百一十三名嘅病人咧喺隔離嘅病房，十六名嘅病人喺二線隔離病房。二百六十一名嘅病人喺北大嶼山醫院香港感染控制中心，當中合共有九十七名咧係新增嘅確診病人。琴日申情報咗一名病人嘅情況係危殆，一名病人嘅情況係嚴重。現時留醫嘅確診病人當中，共有十四名嘅危殆同埋十八名嚴重嘅病人，當中兩名危殆嘅病人咧係正接受深切嘅治療嘅。咁我哋咧而家想俾一個圖表大家睇一睇嘅，係。咁咧其實我哋喺過去一個月啦，無論咧喺留醫啦，或者係每一日新增嘅確診病人入邊咧，我哋都見到咧誒嗰個趨勢係上升咗嘅。咁呢度圖表咧係想俾大家睇下咧，喺五月初嘅時候咧，我哋每一日嘅新增入院嘅人數咧，其實都唔算低，大概每一日都有七十至八十人到。咁跟住隨住個疫情咧，慢慢轉和咧，其實去到六月頭嘅時候咧，嗰、那個新增嘅確診人數咧，係回落到大概每一日三四十呢個數字嘅。咁但係大家都可以睇到啦，嚇喺過去嘅幾個星期入邊咧，其實特別係喺呢一個禮拜咧，每一日新增嘅確診嗰個入院人數咧，都係過百以上嘅。咁所以咧呢、這個情況咧，即、就、係、是、我哋都係好關注嘅。下一張。而呢個咧係想俾大家咧睇咧，就係每一日住喺醫院嘅誒病人嗰個人數，咁亦都可以睇得到咧喺六月中六月頭嘅時候咧，其實嗰個入院人數大概係四百度，咁但係咧去到頭先所講啦，我哋而家係有大概八百三十名呢個確診病人留醫嘅，咁嗰個人數咧係增加咗一倍嘅。咁正如頭先所講啦，誒、呃，我哋都見到咧，危殆同埋嚴重嗰個病人咧，亦都由平均之前二十個咧，亦都喺近幾日咧上升到三十個度。咁所以我哋都擔心嗰個疫情係比之前係嚴重咗嘅。雖然咧，醫管局喺疫情之下反彈之前，即係反彈嘅時，誒喺個疫情反彈，誒、呃、我哋係做咗唔同嘅嘅準備。咁但係咧，我哋亦都希望咧，市民唔好掉以輕心啦。未打齊針嘅市民咧，係要盡快接受疫苗嘅，亦都要定時做一個檢測，亦都咧確診嘅病人可以預約我哋嘅指定診所去睇醫生啦。咁醫生咧就會為合適嘅病人咧處方新嘅口官誒新冠嘅口服藥物，去減低出現重症嘅機會嘅。咁亦都好似之前第五波嘅情況啦。當如果公立醫院一次過要收納一啲大好多嘅誒、呃、確診嘅病人嘅時候咧，其實對於公立醫院嘅服務咧係會造成好大嘅壓力嘅。咁所以咧，我哋其實喺醫管局作出準備嘅時候咧，我哋嘅服務咧亦都可能可能因此咧有所調整嘅。有一啲非緊急嘅服務，譬如話可能一啲日間嘅誒入院嘅檢查啊，或者咧嚴重起上嚟咧一啲手術嘅服務咧，其實都有機會可能要誒暫、呃、停嘅。咁所以咧。咧喺度咧，其實都希望各位市民咧都要留意而家疫情嗰個情況，咁所以要小心啦。咁
。咁另外咧，我哋都想講一個咧係琴日情報一個誒、呃、女病人嘅過身嘅。咁呢位病人咧係一位七十一歲嘅婆婆啦。咁佢係長期卧牀啦，由家人喺屋企度照顧嘅。本身咧就有糖尿啦、血壓高同埋曾經中過風嘅。咁佢七月三號嘅時候，因為氣喘啦，咁咧就去咗急症室求醫。咁當時咧，佢嘅情況相當嚴重啦，個肺片花啦，同埋需要高濃度嘅氧氣啦。之後咧就入咗內科嘅隔離病房繼續跟進治療。佢入院嘅 CT 值咧係十八點一嘅。之後嗰個情況咧繼續慢慢惡化，咁就喺七月五號嗰個情個誒時間就過咗身嘅。咁呢度我交翻俾阿張醫生。好。咁喺誒今日情報嘅一百四十三宗輸入性個案入邊咧，就包括咗一百一十八宗係誒誒核酸檢測啦，廿五宗係呢個快速檢測陽性啦。咁其中有七十九宗個案咧，就係、是、誒、呃、經過誒喺、呃、機場攞到個樣本咧，係誒檢測陽性嘅。咁另外有四十九宗咧，係檢疫酒店揾到嘅個案咯。咁另外有十五個個案咧，就係、是、離開咗檢疫酒店。咁喺社區揾到個個案，不過大部分咧都係 CT 值比較高，有少部分咧都係有低嘅 CT 值。咁我哋都會繼續調查係一個本地個案定係一啲其他嘅原因。咁誒喺輸入性個案嚟講咧，咁誒、呃、今日嗰一百四十三宗個案咧，誒、呃、有五十宗咧都係喺英國抵港啦。咁另外就其他泰國啊、新加坡啊、美國咧就各有大概九宗啦，印印度咧就有八宗，澳洲有七宗。其他誒個案個案咧就係誒各自嚟自其他嘅國家啦。誒院舍嚟講咧，我哋今日有一間誒誒殘疾院舍咧，就有一個誒新嘅殘疾院舍咧，係有新增誒有個案嘅。咁就係基督教懷志服務處圓洲宿舍啦。咁佢就有誒兩個個案嘅。咁就係誒。其中其他嗰啲人士咧，因為佢哋都可以誒喺個院舍入邊誒行嚟行去啦，咁所以都會比較多嘅咁嘅接觸者。咁其他有六十位咧係需要接受檢疫嘅。學校嚟講咧，就係、是、誒、呃、今日就呈報咗二百三十九宗誒、呃、學校嘅個案啦。咁呢度就係嚟自二百零九個學誒、呃、學校嘅。咁佢哋就包括咗一百九十三個誒、呃、學生啦，同埋四十六個誒、呃、教職員嘅。咁誒呢二百三十九位誒個案咧，就嚟自三十三間幼稚園、幼兒中心啦，八十三間小學、八十七間中學同埋四個誒、呃、四間呢個特殊學校啦。咁過去七日就有九十六間學校咧，就有兩個或者以上嘅個案喺同一間學校啦。咁我哋今日咧都建議咗誒、呃、以下幾間學校咧係需要有啲誒、呃、班級咧係需要停課嘅。咁有一間咧係特殊學校，咁嗰間外班咧係呢個明愛嘅洛勤學校喺元朗啦。咁外班其實得四個誒、呃、學生嘅啫，咁其中一位咧係誒確診啦。咁因為佢哋四個學生都係一個緊密接觸啦，咁所以嗰嗰班外嗰班咧就需要誒、呃、停課一個禮拜啦。咁另外其他嗰三間咧就係、是、五順節誒立茂生小學啦。咁喺誒北區嘅，咁佢係誒四 D 班有廿五人嘅，咁其中有十八人咧就係翻緊呢個面，即、就、係、是、面對面上堂啦，有七個人就係翻緊 Zoom 嘅。咁而家咧佢哋累積咧就係、是、有三個學生喺四 D 班嘅，咁呢間學校嘅呢一班咧係需要暫時停課一個禮拜。何明華會誒、呃、篤銀禧中學啦。咁就係誒五 A 班咧，就有廿三個學生啦。咁佢而家累積就有三個學生誒、呃、今日情報嘅。咁誒喺五 A 班，咁呢班咧都需要停課一個禮拜。中華基督教會燕京書院啦，就係、是、有五 C 班，就係、是、有二十個學生。咁佢就累積係有三個學生咧，就係、是、確診啦。咁呢班都係需要停課一個禮拜嘅。咁我哋琴日比較關注嗰間英華書院咧，佢今日就係有一位係其中一個之前一個學生嘅屋企人嚟嘅，咁暫時就冇其他學生咧，就係誒即係情報啦。咁我哋暫時都係觀察住呢一間學校嘅。咁喺誒變異病毒株嚟講咧，就今日咧我哋都有誒喺、呃、懷疑 B A. 點二點一二點一咧就有十九個個案啦，咁其中有十六個係暫時揾唔到源頭。有三個就係同其他個案相關啦。
而 B A 點四五位個案咧，加埋嗰啲誒相關個案咧，今日就有廿二個啦。咁誒，其中有十個係同其他其他個案相關嘅個案啦。咁呢度十個咧都包括咗兩個係餵食火鍋嘅誒員工嘅，咁同埋另外一個就係誒係啦，餵食火鍋嘅員工啦嚇。咁、呃、另外咧就係、是呃、有八個咧就係、是呃之前個案嘅屋企人啦，或者係同座大廈嘅個案啦，咁有、呃、另外仲有七個咧，同誒、呃、暫時揾唔到源頭嘅個案，咁誒同埋佢哋嘅屋企人，即係佢哋一啲緊密接觸者咁樣咯嚇。咁、啊呃、我哋而家都見到咧，其實、呃、B A 點四嗰個比例咧，都係有啲、呃、逐漸上升嘅。喺六月廿一號嗰時，我哋嘅比例其實係百分之零嘅，即係我講緊本地個案啦。咁而家都接近百分之一一嘅啦。咁都明顯地見到佢其實係可能個傳播性咧都係比較高，同埋我哋都擔心係可能會有一啲再次感染嘅情況。咁我哋都會誒、呃、繼續看住，同埋都誒緊、呃、密誒、呃、觀察住啦。咁市民都係需要誒、呃、密切留意啦，同埋如果有啲咩唔舒服嘅話咧，就盡快做檢測啦。咁當然有時候誒喺屋企做嗰個快速檢測嗰時候，可能會覺見到陽性，咁以為冇乜嘢。咁其實如果你真係有唔舒服咧，就唔係真係單靠快速檢測嘅，可能真係要睇醫生啦，做翻一個、呃、正式嘅 PCR 檢測就會比較穩陣啲嚇。我今日報告係咁多，唔該。好，過去一日咧有一百零八名嘅病人康復啦，當中包括咗九十名嘅病人咧就已經出咗院。第五波疫情至今咧，總共有五萬二千四百一十四名嘅病人康復，其中包括咗五萬二千零九十一名嘅病人咧就已經出咗院。自二零二零年初，本港共有六萬四千七百九十四名嘅病人康復，當中包括咗六萬四千四百七十一名嘅病人就已經出咗院。另外咧，有三名嘅病人咧係經入院篩查或者喺院內嘅檢測發現確診嘅。四名同房嘅病人咧列為密切嘅接觸者。至於員工方面咧，新增咗四十名嘅員工確診，至今確診嘅員工總數為二萬四千五百九十名嘅。另外咧，亦都新增咗二十一名嘅員工咧，已經翻翻工作嘅崗位，總共係有二萬四千二百五十一名嘅員工咧，已經翻翻佢哋嘅工作崗位嘅。咁另外咧，就係有一個公佈。琴日公布咗係一名咧，因為病房工程由東華三院黃大仙醫院暫時調遷咗去香港佛教醫院留醫嘅嗰位男病人，確診咗二零一九嘅冠狀病毒，同埋佢同房嘅三名員工。咁喺醫院嘅感染控制誒組、呃、繼續進行呢個接觸追蹤嘅時候咧，再發現多一名咧病房工作嘅外判清潔工啦。同埋九名嘅同房嘅病人咧，亦都係確診嘅，全部嘅情全部人嘅情況咧係穩定嘅。咁所有確診嘅病人咧，係已經轉翻到去東華三院黃大仙醫院接受隔離嘅治療。咁有關嘅病房咧，已經暫停接收新症同埋探訪嘅安排，並且已經安排徹清誒徹底嘅清潔消毒啦。咁。咁院方會繼續監察病人同埋員工嘅健康情況啦，亦都會同衞生防護中心咧繼續作出跟進嘅。其實我哋咧係好緊張呢啲喺院內誒、呃、醫院入邊發生感染呢啲羣組嘅。咁我哋嘅感染控制專家咧，其實而家正討論同埋研究點樣可以加強病人入院嘅篩查啦，同埋員工咧每一日恆常檢測嗰個方法，希望可以盡快咧發現一啲確診嘅個案啦，可以壓止喺院內傳播呢個情況嘅。咁亦都我哋係會提醒同事啦，因為近期喺社區嘅感染個案不斷上升啦。咁同事除咗要留意自己身體之外咧，如果佢哋有病徵，即使係嗰個快速抗原測試係陰性咧，我哋亦都勸佢哋唔好翻工，應該等埋一個核酸嘅檢測，等後嗰個結果係陰性咧，先就好翻工嘅。當然有唔舒服咧，一定係要去求醫啦咁樣。咁頭先張醫生亦都講咗啦，關於嗰個快速抗原測試同埋嗰個核酸。嗰、那個檢查係有啲分別嘅，咁呢度希望大家留意。咁我今日嘅報告去到呢度，唔該曬。以下係提問時間，咁請大家發問前先介紹你代表嘅傳媒機構。邊位想發問？係嗰邊嗰位女士。誒、uh, ，thank you doctors，I'm from Bloomberg News。
Uh, my first question is for Dr. Kwan. Uh, you mentioned um, there's some concern over the rising hospitalizations. Can you um, perhaps give an indicator of at what number of new hospitalizations every day would hospitals need to uh, possibly suspend non-emergency services? And um, is there any way to prevent that um, from happening? Uh, my other two questions is for um, Dr. Jern. Uh, we've heard of um, recent arrivals to Hong Kong who um, were previously infected with um, COVID and they have recovered. So they came to Hong Kong with a doctor's note showing that they have recovered as well as a negative RAT test. But on arrival in Hong Kong, when they underwent the PCR test, um, they were tested to be positive. So they were sent to Penny's Bay as a result. So we would like to know whether um, it's a fair policy to to require travelers who have recently recovered um, to undertake PCR tests if there's a chance that they may uh, become positive and be sent to Penny's Bay. And um, in the case of free positives, um, is there any kind of um, guidelines on what qualify as a repositive case and for repositive cases are they allowed to stay in their designated quarantine hotel or will they be sent to a centralized uh, facility like Penny's Bay? Thank you. I'll let uh, our oh, okay. hospital colleague okay. to answer. First. Thank you for your questions. So, um, for the um, for the trend of the hospitalization, as we just mentioned and show you on the graph, we are focused on the number of the daily and confirmed cases that have been admitted to the hospital, and also we will observe the number of the critical and serious cases. Of course, the number of, uh, as you mentioned, the indicator sometimes is quite dynamic. We'll have an overall observation of the surface provision as well as the overall condition of the patients. So uh, now we are in uh, our central uh, command committee for operation to discuss every day. So probably uh, we were very cautious about the surface adjustment because apart from the COVID patients, there are patients who are not suffering with COVID, but there are uh, uh, urgent need for other medical uh, uh, services. That's why there has to be a balance to between. So we don't have a fixed number to, to, uh, to say what surface to be uh, suspended, but we'll make a collective decision to, to see what is the best for the current situation. Um, you asked about the management of recovered patients uh, from overseas. So if a patient, I mean, if a traveler had a history of uh, rec uh, recovered from uh, COVID-19 in the past three months, that's 90 days. If he or she is tested negative at uh, the airport, they will be transferred to the designated quarantine center. Uh, if the first PCR test has a very high CT value, suggesting of repositive, and uh, she or he has also a history of infection in the past 90 days, we will allow her or him to stay in the hotel to wait for the second PCR test. So if two consecutive PCR tests has both has a high CT value, we will suspect uh, this is a case of re positive case and we'll allow him or her to stay in the DQH until uh, finish the quarantine. But of course, during the period of uh, staying in the designated quarantine hotel, uh, he or she will still have to undergo another test, uh, PCR test at day five. So if the day five PCR test becomes lower, for example, a very low CT value with a decreasing trend. This may suggestive of a reinfection. We may have to isolate him or um, he or she. But uh, if um, the test is still negative or very high CT value, uh, he will be regarded as a repositive case. Uh, we will judge it uh, case by case, usually uh, more than 30 or so. Uh, 
誒、呃、醫生你好 ，Now TV 嘅誒咁，首先想問翻英華嗰度嘅情況啦。咁其實係揾到個傳播嘅途徑未啦？有冇涉及咩大型嘅群體活動啊，或者冇戴口罩嘅活動啦？同埋都見到誒、呃、英華或者頭先講嘅幾間學校，其實都有好多人誒二十幾個人受到感染啦，但係停課嘅只係有一班啦。咁都想問翻其實。誒停課嘅準則係啲乜嘢咧？咁點解唔停曬所有都受到感染嘅班別？考慮咗啲乜嘢咧？最後都想問翻啦。咁早前特首就話會研究點樣去縮短呢個檢疫期啦。咁想問翻喺流行病學嗰方面咧，其實檢疫期要縮短到去幾多先叫做安全咧？最低要幾多要有幾多日嘅檢疫期咧？唔該。誒、呃，英華嗰度咧，我哋停咗去四班嘅，就唔係一班嘅。咁嗰四班都係分別有誒、嗯，即係三至五位嘅學生受感染啦。咁今日就冇見到其他新嘅誒學生啦，除咗一位咧就係、是、其中一個已知個案嘅誒屋企人啦。咁變咗誒嗰四班咧，我哋都了解過咧。咁其實佢哋都誒、呃、曾經即係中間都有一啲同學咧係誒誒食飯嗰時候啦，可能就係比較近嘅。咁就、呃、可能呢個都係其中一個原因啦嚇。咁我哋都會建議間學校就留意下呢、這個食、呃、飯嗰時候嘅情況咯、呃。至於誒、呃、關於、呃、其他嘅問題，我覺得就可能都要誒、呃、繼續、呃、研究啦嚇。下一題，後面嗰位。你好，誒、呃、有線嘅，想問翻英華嗰度咧，啱啱講話食飯比較近，有冇話誒即係幾多人一齊食飯，即係幾多個學生喺出面食，定喺學校嗰度食？咁另外誒仲、呃、想問下，啱啱講到黃大仙一間佛教嘅醫院嗰度院內感染個情況，想問而家冇個源頭，即係係係點樣感染嘅？咁另外啱啱有講到話誒個 H A 個負荷能力，即係見到而家係咪已經出現咗個能力？即係啱啱講到話過百人入院個情況，咁有冇評估過話去到幾多個 case 或者幾多個人入院嘅時候會負荷唔到，即係會停止一啲日常嘅檢查或者啲手術嘅工？工作咁樣，誒或者我答咗英文。唔該。誒，我講緊咧係佢哋誒食飯時間午午飯嘅時候咧，佢哋喺 canteen 食飯嘅。咁誒、呃、有時候可能比較多人咧，又會出咗去離開咗 canteen 誒出邊少少嘅時地方食飯啦嚇。咁呢啲地方有時候誒、呃、可能都會有其他人係誒即係喺附近咁樣咯。咁咧就關於誒頭先所講喺黃大仙醫院嗰位病人而家即係曾經入過佛教醫院啦。咁就住嗰個感染源頭咧，其實我哋而家都係調查當中嘅。咁所以暫時嚟講咧，我哋即係都係希望即係就住誒、呃，譬如頭先講啦嚇，我哋點樣喺醫院嗰啲感染群組個案咧，其實我哋都好關注嘅。咁所以，我哋會繼續係討論係同埋研究點樣可以加強病人嗰個入院篩查同埋員工每一日嗰個行常嘅檢測嘅。咁所以呢個如果有新嘅誒 update， 我哋就再話俾大家聽啦咁樣。咁至於頭先你講咧，就係、是、話其實誒我哋即係綜合觀察過去呢個月嘅嗰啲數字其實係上升緊。雖然暫時咧，我哋誒喺初步嚟講咧，誒我哋係誒應付得到。咁但係嚟講，我哋都擔心喺一個情況之下話，如果嗰、那個即係、就是、確診嘅。個案如果個幅度再係大量嘅上升咧，咁當然對一個即係公營機構係會一個好大嘅壓力嘅。我哋就冇一個硬指標話要收到幾多個病人或者係收到幾多張牀，我哋先至要停某啲手術。即係好似頭先咁講啦，因為除咗一啲即係誒確診嘅病人之外咧，亦都係有一啲誒冇確診嘅病人咧，其實佢哋都有一啲誒醫療上嘅需要嘅。咁所以兩者咧係都要平衡嘅。咁所以其實我哋每一日喺我哋醫管局嘅總部咧，其實我哋都會喺七個聯網咧睇住每間醫院嗰個情況，咁點樣可以即係平均、呃、可以即係照顧到唔同病人嘅需要咯。咁所以變咗呢、這個呢、這個就冇一個好硬性嘅數字去落實嘅。咁但係我哋即係都會睇下某啲聯網入面可能有一啲好輕微嘅即係服務嘅調整啦嚇。譬如可能頭先咁講啦，有啲譬如話係日間入院做一啲檢查嘅，咁嗰啲我哋都會睇過嗰個重要性而有啲更改嘅時間，但係。上係咁樣
誒、呃、哦，呢、這個我哋都誒、呃、都要觀察下先知嚇。當然，因為之前有幾日就係嗰、那個誒、呃、社區檢測中心就停過一兩日，係因為嗰、那個誒、呃、颱風啦。咁所以可能有機會有啲人係誒、呃、遲咗少少去做檢測啦，咁樣先攞報告都未定。都個成個趨勢都要睇多幾日先至知道究竟嗰個影響有冇響誒，即係已經離開咗未嚇。下一題。後面位女士，誒你好，兩位明報嘅，誒首先想問翻，即係 BA. 點四同埋 BA. 點五喺香港嗰個情況，想問翻，即係累計香港總共而家本地有幾多中華兒或者確定帶 BA. 點四同埋 BA. 點五嘅個案咧？頭先張醫生都提到話，即係可能有二次感染個風險，即係而家見到啲 case 有冇話大概有幾多宗係出現咗呢個情況，有冇多啲誒詳情咧？同埋即係。見到 BA. 點四同埋點五，佢哋個傳播性比較高啦，有機會出現二次感染。CHP 研判呢種病毒株對於香港嘅疫情有咩影響？而家對於即係呢兩款病毒株流入本港嗰個應對策略係點咧？第二就想問翻，即係相比翻誒、呃、外國嗰個疫情走勢啦，見到香港呢兩款病毒株個個案增幅好似冇其他國家咁快。咁 CHP 覺得係。因為香港之前流行 BA 二點二令到羣體免疫多咗啊，定係即係大部分個案未浮現、未浮面，所以有呢個情況咧。同埋而家見到兩種病毒株患者嗰個輕重症比例係點，同其他即係 BA 二點二或者其他病毒株又有冇分別咧？最後都想問翻，即係見到澳門政府呼籲一啲居民外出或者翻工嘅時候戴 KN 九五口罩啦。咁中心即係覺得誒呢、呃这個建議可唔可取咧？會唔會都建議香港市民可以效法呢個建議，然後？誒、呃、預防新冠病毒咧，唔該。誒、呃、嗰、那個誒、呃，我哋每一日咧，而家嘅新聞稿嗰度咧，都有嗰個累積嗰、那個誒、呃，究竟有幾多嗰個 B A 點四誒，或者係誒懷疑 B A 點四，或者係懷疑 B A 點誒。呃誒二點一二點一嘅個案嘅，咁去到琴日就係總共就有七百零九宗 B A 點二點一二點一啦，就四百九十五宗係 B A 點誒四或者五嘅懷疑或者確診個案啦。咁當然啦，就誒比例上誒好多都係輸入嘅個案啦。咁如果喺誒本地嘅個案嚟講咧，就琴日嘅數字喺本地懷疑 B A 點二點一二點一。或者係帶 L 四五二 Q 嘅個案就係大概係五百零五宗啦，而 B A 四五或者係帶 L 四五二 R 嘅個案咧就係有一百零八宗啦嚇。咁我就未包今日嘅個案嘅。咁誒、呃、增幅嚟講咧，就其實而家都係啱啱誒，即係見到本地有個案啦。咁我哋都幾比較難預計。之後嘅增幅會唔會真係好似外國咁咧？係會即係誒，即係會好大嘅增幅啦。咁但係都係見到其實近兩日嘅啲個案都係唔少嘅，同埋有好多都係冇源頭嘅個案。咁變咗咧，如果冇源頭嘅個案，咁其實佢都有啲傳播鏈咯。咁喺個社區嗰度，咁爭在係誒，佢係咪浮現出嚟？我哋而家其實誒，所有嘅個案啦。都有、呃、做嗰個 L 四五二嗰個分析嘅，咁所以而家暫時嗰個案個比例咧，即係喺誒已知嘅個案嘅比例咧，就會睇到究竟而家嘅增幅係點。咁暫時仲係、呃、大概百分之一度啦嚇，咁、啊、但係都會觀察住睇下個情況。咁至於誒係咪好似外國咁咧，我哋都好難預計，因為都要揾翻一個同香港一樣經驗嘅地方嚟比較，就比較困難。咁輕重、呃、方面咧，我哋本身而家個個案嘅數字就唔係話好多，咁但係都見到就唔係話同之前嗰啲 B A 點二點二咧係好大分別，都係差唔多。咁至於 K N 九十五咧，其實我哋而家都係建議咧，就儘量帶啲比較合適同埋誒，即係緊緊貼個面部嘅口罩啦。咁所以誒，即係嗰種立體口罩當然都係其中一個選擇。咁另外一個選擇就係戴兩個口罩嗰種，等嗰個貼服啲嘅塊面啦。咁呢啲都係會好啲嘅誒，防護嘅方誒方法咯。啊，次感染我哋其實喺啲觀察我哋啲個案之前就有誒，大概三宗 B A 點二點一二點一喺誒。富泰誒護、呃、老院嗰度嚇，咁、啊、誒、呃、最近喺惠食火鍋都見到有一宗嘅嚇，咁、啊、都係誒、呃、當然啦，呢啲個案因為之前嗰次嗰、那個誒、嗯、病毒咧，好多時都係揾即係未有嗰個分析啦。咁而家就見到佢哋最新嗰啲可能係啲變異病毒株。
Hóa thể À Hi Vũ làm gì ạ? Lưu Yên Chân Sơn Ninh Ờ Quan trọng là tôi xin hỏi chị cho con đồ ạ B4 cái bế lại sinh nó sẵn cái là phát hành bài chế hay con B4 và chế B5 nè Ờ sự con nhà to đó kể có lượng gan chỉ định cái cạn lý cháu tiếng chế sẽ cái cải cháu tiếng kể dừng dừng phủ lỗ thì ở giá có tăng phục nè Ờ cấm nhật công ờ công bố cái sự con lò yên đi chế kể ra mấy thùng chi chín có kể nhiều tiếng mình phân biệt cái bế lại nhưng mà chỉ hay chế cái mà ờ hỏi chị bế tôi đi dừng nè 誒另外 H A 提到就話即係而家留院個人數多咯，想知有冇話嗰個年齡分佈啦？誒，即係邊個年齡層多啲，或者個 range 同埋個入院原因有冇話可以講下係通常即係咩原因先係即係入院嘅羣組咧？誒頭先話嗰個服務不排除即係會調整啦，其實係咪跟翻之前嗰個誒應變計劃，即係之前公佈過嗰個就去做咯？咁誒喺暫停嗰啲非緊急服務之前，會唔會係？有乜嘢措施做咗？去到做完嗰啲都搞唔掂，就真係要暫停嗰啲服務咧？唔該。誒、呃，嗰、那個比例咧就誒、呃、懷疑 B A 點二點一二點一咧，就大概每日個案就係百分之一至百分之一點六七咁樣啦。咁而 B A 誒嗰個就比較穩定啲嘅，暫時。而 B A 點四點或者 B A 點五嗰個懷疑個案咧？就係、是、由之前嗰、那個誒六誒零去到最近嘅大概係零點八啊或者一咁樣咯，咁係誒兩個兩即係兩條數嚟嘅嚇，咁如果佢哋兩個加埋，可能係百分之二度啦。就誒、呃，我知道有關誒、呃、部門都會睇住究竟嗰啲酒店係誒、呃、即係檢疫酒店或者係嗰啲隔離酒店夠唔夠用嘅，咁誒、呃、應該佢哋都會睇住個使用率嘅啦，誒、呃。哦，輸入性個案個國家就因為我都收到有啲人誒有啲詢問，咁所以就俾多啲資料咁解。好，誒、呃、就住頭先你所講留院嗰啲誒人數啊，誒、呃、嗰、那個歲數咧，暫時我冇喺手嚇，之後可以補充翻。咁至於入院嘅原因有當然有唔同啦嚇，有啲當然係因為誒佢、呃、感染咗誒、呃、新冠病毒啦，咁亦都有啲因為係自身嘅問題，咁跟住入院先至誒發覺佢有呢個情況嘅。下一題。誒嗱，應該咁講啦。其實咧，我哋即係成個嗰個準備嘅方法咧，其實就係一路而家所有誒嗰啲準備功夫都做緊嘅，即係無論去準備啲床啦，誒、呃、點樣去準備我哋嘅人手啦、硬件嘅誒、呃、安排啦咁樣。咁所以變咗咧，其實所有嘅誒、呃、準備功夫咧，其實都係同時間進行。當然啦，我哋亦都係睇住成個疫情嗰個發展啊。咁所以就住譬如話，當嗰、那個即係萬一嗰個確診嘅人數增加而入院需要嗰、那個要求係多咗嘅時候咧，咁就正正頭先嗰啲配套咧就會可以發揮所用啦。咁咁所以變咗咧，誒嗰啲誒誒服務嗰個調整咧，其實都會隨住嗰個情況咧係有所分別嘅咁樣。好，我哋問最後一題，呢位女士。誒你好啊，經濟部啊，想想問翻英華書院嗰度今日話多過一個密切接觸者，其實係咪嗰間學校嘅學生咧？如果係嘅話，係邊一班啦？同埋而家佢哋嗰間學校嗰個誒病毒傳基因分析係咪未出咧？誒頭先話初步調查佢哋午飯係有即係一齊食飯啦，係知道佢哋係有跨班嘅確診就一齊食飯啦，定暫時都係佢哋即係同班內嘅同學有一個接觸傳播咧？誒同埋而家確診數字咧，即係 keep 住上升啦，公立醫院壓力都開始大啦。喺防疫措施嗰方面，即係衞生防護中心覺得有冇需要收緊咧？頭先有提到話唔好依賴即係快測啦，而出去睇醫生做做翻個 PCR 啦。但係其實而家係咪所有嘅快測陽性個案都會上門再做一個？ PCR 嘅複合咧，即其實醫生係建議、呃、市民如果有唔舒服係留喺屋企做快測陽性，然之後等 PCR 複合啦，定係有唔舒服應該要直接出去做一個 PCR 咧、呃？最後想問翻，即係尋日有跟進過呢個內地製嘅破熱息痛嗰度啦，想問一下，即係誒、呃、衞生署其實係咪冇註冊呢一款藥啦？同埋 D H 誒誒 H A 有冇話其實係買咗幾多？劑呢一個內地製嘅破血息痛啦，同埋而家處方咗幾多咧？同埋疫情底下仲有冇採購更加多即係誒未註冊嘅藥物咧？唔該。誒、呃，英華嗰間學校就誒、呃、新嗰、那個哦
誒、呃、個學生就應該係一師班嘅學生，咁佢係另外一個學生嘅屋企人咯嚇。咁、啊呃、我講緊食飯係佢哋有一啲係同自己啲同學一齊食啦，有啲係有、呃、同其他班一齊食，咁可能就、呃呃、即係有機會係、呃、有幾班都係有啲確診個案咯。咁嗰、那個如果一個人係誒佢做咗一個快測檢測陽性，咁其實咧佢就應該係等我哋、呃、即係情報上網啦，咁然後交曬資料咧，就等我哋做一個誒誒、呃呃、複核嘅，咁呢個就係快測陽性啦。咁快測陽性一定要留喺屋企嘅啦。咁有啲人咧就可能會、呃、即係自己有啲唔舒服，就做咗快測陰性。咁陰性嘅以為自己冇嘢，咁可能有返工啊、返學啊，或者係做其他嘢。咁其實因為嗰個快測呢，都係有自己嘅局限性嘅。咁可能個 CT 值，比如有時係啱啱開始起，就算你開始有唔舒服呢，可能個 CT 好高嘅，三十幾咁樣啦。咁快測呢，可能廿幾就會測到，三十幾就未必測到。咁所以如果有唔舒服呢，其實最好都係留喺屋企，唔好唔好翻工返學啦。因為呢、這個、呃、任何時候嘅上呼吸道病都係咁㗎啦。但如果你話、啊、我都好唔舒服，咁梗係要睇醫生，咁就唔好話因為啊快測陰性咧，就覺得自己一定冇嘢咯。咁可能有時都要做多幾次啦，同埋、呃、最好就係做翻一個、呃呃、核酸檢測咯。呃、我諗呢個都都要睇成個政府嚟睇啦嚇，咁都會睇多方面嘅、呃、因素啦。就住頭先講嗰個內地藥物咧，我手頭上冇嗰個數字，關於即係採購咗幾多同埋派咗幾多嘅。不過都想回應翻啦。咁其實即係誒，我哋藥物嗰啲品質同埋安全咧，其實係我哋醫管局採購藥物嗰個首要嘅考慮嚟嘅。咁當然我哋係會按實質嘅情況啦，藥物嗰個供應啦，嗰、那個物流嘅運輸啦，咁係會喺市面上採購一啲合乎衞生署相關註冊同埋品質規定嘅藥劑製品嘅，咁就提供俾我哋。係醫院啦，同埋診所使用啦。當然喺一啲特別嘅情況之下啦，都或者當啲藥物出現一啲未能預計到佢嘅供應問題，就好似喺疫情嚴峻嘅時候咧，有個別嘅藥物咧，可能嗰個供應係相當緊張嘅。咁所以我哋亦都有需要地，可能喺唔同嘅地方咧，進口或者係採購一啲合約以外嘅藥物，希望咧保障咧我哋嘅病人咧係可以得到適切嘅治療嘅咁。咁所以醫管局係會喺政府誒嘅許可之下咧，先至會引入有。有關嘅藥物嘅，咁我哋嘅藥房嘅同事咧，亦都會因應實際嘅情況咧，將呢啲所需要嘅信息咧，俾我哋嘅前線同事啦，同埋提供俾我哋嘅病人啦，確保咧用嗰啲藥係正確嘅。誒、嗯，我冇呢個數字喺手。好，記者會結束，多謝大家。